Hey everyone, so for this project you're going to need your conspiracy palette, a piece of stiff card, a piece of less stiff card, some pattern paper, some contact adhesive or super glue, a Stanley knife or multi-tool, some normal stick glue, a pencil, some scissors and a cake spatula. So we're going to start off with our sharp knife and our conspiracy palette. We're going to run the knife around the edges of the shadows just to make sure there's no glue sticking to the edge. And then we're going to start slowly trying to prise those shadows up. I find it's easier if you just make some nice clean cuts along one of the sides of the palette just so that you can access the underneath the palette and prise the shadows away from the cardboard underneath it. So yeah, bend that side down and we can glue those sides up later so that you can keep your palette. Using your spatula and your knife, you're just going to start gently lifting those shadows off of the cardboard. It can be a little bit stuck, so just yeah, use a combination of both and just gently start to prise it off. Next we're going to take the mirror out. This is a little harder than the shadows, partly because it's more indented into the top of the palette and also because I didn't want to cut the side like I did with the shadows and potentially ruin my palette. So I just started by running my knife along the edges like I did with the shadows and slowly trying to prise it up both with the knife and also with my spatula. That wasn't really working. Uh, basically it's got two little glue strips along the very edges that hold it into the top of the, the palette box there. So I ended up getting my little bottle opener <laughs> out and just slowly starting to prise that up, just being really gentle until that glue uh, loosened a bit and it came up. I then went ahead and took off the top layer of that kind of lighter papery stuff on the back of it along with the glue just so that when we stuck it to the rest of the layers later on um, it would be a nice even flat surface. I then got my shadows and the mirror and put them down on the stiff card, traced around them, cut that out and that was going to be the top and the bottom of the new palette. To cover these I just got my patent paper and my glue stick and the stiff card. I laid the card down on the paper, cut it so that there was a little bit of overlapping paper around the edges of the card and then I covered that card really well in glue all over. I then stuck it down onto the paper and smoothed it to make sure there would be absolutely no bubbles underneath that paper. Then to glue the edges down I just ran the glue stick thoroughly along the first couple centimetres of each edge and pushed the paper over, made sure to really stick it down and smooth it out so there'd be no bubbles for that either. For the ends I made sure to stick all the loose bits of paper down and then did the same thing I did with the sides to glue it on. When you're doing the ends like this the most important thing is that the edges all line up with one another and that might mean having a little bit of a bend in your paper there so you end up with little wrinkles. See I'm just pushing them down and smoothing them out. It doesn't really matter because you won't see it. Um, it's more important that you have all your edges lined up. Begin. 
We're then going to start putting the palette together. So you're going to get your softer card, which is going to be the back hinge of the palette, and glue a good few centimetres of that with your stick glue. Turn it over and then stick it down onto the bottom of the palette, making sure to smooth it out and get it all stuck down. Then pick up your eyeshadow and turn it over and take off all that kind of lighter, papery stuff on the back. To stick your shadows down onto the bottom of your palette, you're going to get your stick glue and do a really good layer of that all over the card on the bottom of your palette. Then get your contact adhesive and run a thin line of that all along the edges of the card and then do a good squiggle in the middle. Then repeat that on the underneath of the eyeshadows and then you can stick them together once the glue is a little bit tacky and press down on it firmly to make sure everything's stuck. Before sticking down, just double check that you're putting the shadows down on the right bit of card. The mirror is slightly larger than the shadows and the card will be too, so just double check. I made that mistake and it was a pain to fix. <laughs> it's now time to stick our mirror onto our palette, so I'm just bending the back card a little bit to make it more flexible, then placing my mirror face down over my shadows and lining up that back edge. Bend the card over, make sure it's nice and tight. The mirror is a little bit wider than the shadows, but that's okay as long as you have an even amount of overlap on both edges. Um, once you're satisfied with how everything's fitting and lining up, you can go ahead and do a nice layer of your stick glue all over the back cardboard and then stick everything down. To stick the top of the palette on, we're just going to do exactly the same as we did for the bottom of the palette. Give it a good layer of the stick glue and then the contact adhesive. Round the edges, squiggle in the middle, repeat for the cardboard on top of the palette and stick it together, smooth it down, you know the drill. And your palette is done! Yay! If you've used contact adhesive, um, make sure you really stick that card down and then put a little bit of weight on the palette overnight or at least for a few hours just to make sure that, that card is really stuck and you don't have any uplift. If you've used super glue, it'll stick immediately and you won't have that problem. Just a final note, I've done two palettes now and as you can see on the bottom one, I left the cardboard edge on the top of the palette exposed and on the second one I made it black. That's just personal preference but if you did want to black it out I um, just cut a really thin strip of black paper and then glue it along that exposed edge. Thanks for watching and good luck if you try this project at home.